genuinely shocked and surprised. I think you can see it by my reaction. I'm here today with Kubis van der Merwe, chef patron of Wolfgat. He is going to be making pickled fish for the menu at Wolfgat, which is serving lunch today. So we're going to try and get out of his way as quickly as possible. <laughs> but just seeing how he does it, from a sustainability point of view and from a foraging point of view, he's going to take us through what could be the pickled fish of the year. We traditionally do one or two sort of heritage recipes for the autumn menu because it's Easter holidays. So often we work with lamb and something like pickled fish um, and then we, we sort of do our spin on it. So Abelobi basically works through an app that advertises what fish has been caught by the Abelobi fishermen that day. Enter the amount of kilos you want and it gets delivered on ice in a cooler box with a QR code on it. If you scan the QR code, it tells you exactly who the fisherman was, what species they've brought and where it was caught. Now, because the restaurants take a basket of what's available, you can't demand what you want. You get what's, what the sea provides. So we're going to do sort of a quick pickle, just lightly frying the fish with some masala and then it goes into a hot curry pickling juice um, where it will sit until lunchtime. Then we've got wild mallow leaves. They're actually a Mediterranean invasive species. They've got very strange sort of mucilaginous leaves. So we figured out that if you crisp them up, they're actually amazing. So they've just been brushed with a little bit of oil, seaweed salt, um, some lemon zest, and then baked in the oven until crispy. Sea pumpkin leaves. So this is one of the edible fejis. They actually taste like pumpkin. Not even remotely. No. <laughs> and then we have uh, sea lettuce, which is one of the most common seaweeds found globally. And you can obviously, if you're doing this at home, you know, like have some hot cross buns or something on the side, <laughs> if you want to just make a meal out of it. Take one side of the harder, and then we're going to start with a bed of yogurt, and then just sort of layering all the elements. So we've got a bit of felt quilt chutney, we made in winter, peach mirbos sambal, basically dried peaches, that we cook with a bit of sugar and salt, chopped with onion and coriander. And we'll put some of the crunchy pickled onion pieces in there. A bit of pickled watermelon rind. And then just to give it a bit of sea context, use some of our wild picked ingredients. And then we're gonna put some sea pumpkin leaves on. And then just a little bit of sea lettuce to finish. There we have our pickled fish. Pickled fish of the year. <laughs> it's perfect, it's mouthful. It tastes like where I am. It's a very clever take on a heritage classic. 